invited to several different sororities, but there, there was no comparison. Kappa Delta was it. I was given a big sister. She was wonderful, the nicest person you could imagine. A wonderful thing for me because being so shy, I needed someone to confide in and that would be my friend for life, and that's what I got. Four of my sisters were bridesmaids. When we got married, we had our reception at the Alpha Iota House at UCLA. Marrying a man from the military, we had to move every year or so, and so it was difficult to keep track of our friends that way, but not with the Capadellas. We never lost contact with one another. It was the most exciting thing to learn how to paint properly. The teacher, Herb Abrams, was able to explain the process so well that it was impossible not to understand how to paint. Anybody could paint, I thought. He would bring in people and we would sit down and we would paint the portraits, and I just loved that. It was what I wanted to do, and I knew that was it. From then on, I wanted to do portraits. Each portrait I do, I try so hard to make my best work yet, and that, that's the way you, you improve. I went up to Seattle and I met with Bill Gates' father. They didn't have any photographs that were suitable for a portrait, except for one, but she was in a gown. Instead, they wanted her in a suit. He also showed me some videos. Can you believe I was privy to watching videos of the family? The, he gave me a couple of those to take home and, and watch, which I did so I could get a feeling for her. So I realized I was about the same build and height that she was. So I got in my navy blue suit, which I'd seen in another photograph of her, and I sat in the pose and took a selfie. <laughs> And I used that as the basis for her body, and then the photograph they gave me for her head. And it turned out to be a difficult process, but the result is hanging in the University of Washington. Once in a while, I get to that point where it's going there, and you see you've been able to get exactly what you want, and the shadow side, and the eyes, and that sparkle and I start dancing around the room. I get so excited. It is magic. I was told that they would like us to give a small speech. And my topic was, what would I have changed? All of a sudden, it was my turn, and I said, oh, I can't think of a thing that I would change. I have a wonderful husband and I have two great children. I've lived all over the world and, wait a minute, there is one thing I'd like to change. I can dance the hula. I took classes when I was a little girl. I can remember that, I think. And one of the women said, here, use my scarf. And she fastened it around and we made a makeshift top to, out of the scarf. Time came, the music went on, and the girls opened the, the curtain, and out I stepped, and I started doing my hula. It went on very well until I noticed the boys' expression. And they went from, to, the curtain opened, and two women grabbed me and pulled me back behind the curtain. And I thought, what? Oh! My makeshift top had shifted south. Oh well, someone has to be the first topless dancer in Hollywood. It's been an interesting life. I decided I was gonna have fun during this lifetime.